not, kid. Even in times like these, I can tell you ain't that hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm thirsty, cue <laughs> ball. What is it, kid? I honestly think we have to have somehow Edna's got to pick up one of these barrels and we've got to get them from her. Soup needs more flavor. I'll go ask her here in a second. There's a radio on too. I wonder if there's a way to turn up the volume on the radio. No. Say so if that thing wasn't so loud, you wouldn't be able to. If that thing was louder, there probably is a basement access. I, I just have no idea how to get down there. Okay. Let's see if we can get Edna to deliver to the same Edna's bicycle. Let's check out her bicycle, actually. Nice bike, Puffy. Huffy? I'm not Huffy. I'm passionate. Passionate about justice, safety, law, and order. Uh, never mind. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. Hmm. I was going to say. Yeah, somehow the basement and the pipe has something to do with it, too. So, I need... I me to blah, blah, blah. How about the orphanage the again? Orphanage. My, how those little ragamuffins... Nope, and out she goes with another barrel to the same place. I think that she actually had another dialogue option, though, too, that I kind of just skipped over. So Maybe I need to go to what, the place that she's, like, actually delivering. I mean, I don't even think I can leave this screen now. Jail window. Nope. Can't go back downtown or to Edna's apartment. Did the stream cut out for a little bit, Roxanne? I wonder if Marty can get hit by a car. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, try not to say. Okay, what was this one? I know where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Yeah, this wasn't there last time. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? Hmm, in the park, the police station, the bomb to speakeasy at the Brown residence. How about... In the park? You can meet in the park. No, that's no good. Too many of the members sleep in the park. Well, why don't they meet in the soup kitchen? That would be a great place. Cool. About in the bombed speakeasy. We meet in the speakeasy. The one that got bombed last Wednesday. Now wouldn't that be poetic irony? But I'm not sure the building is structurally safe. This is why I hate adventure games. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? Okay, how about the police station? We can just lock them all up early. You can meet over there in the jailhouse. I think they have an empty cell. No, the jailhouse has bad associations for some of the stay soberites. Yes, yeah, probably because they've spent so know, some time uh, there. How about at the Brown residence? Brown residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place up for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous public spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. Oh dear. Okay. I got a book. I don't think I could scroll any of those options. We're going to tell Emmett that we just lied. We've rented out your place to a bunch of drunks, Emmett. Um, okay. Score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Yes, you keep doing that, even though you're not actually helping me with any ideas. So... Don't tell me there's a bug of any type. I can't deal with bugs. The stationer's door. I'm just gonna check some of these buildings right now, see what's going on in them. You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Then get out, Mom. No, there's no cutscene with the pipes. I've tried interacting with them, but it doesn't do anything. Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like? A hunting lodge? We'll find out. The flop house. 
haven't I'm been in here. I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place who welcomes transients. What, what do you have a thing against transients for, Marty? They're people too, even if they are, you know, transients. I don't have any items I can use on the pipe, as far as I know. A bank sign, what does that say? Bank of Italy? A yeah, bank of, I have no idea what it says. Law office. Zemeckis and Fine. Attorneys at law. No solicitors. Well, let's see if we can find out how to trigger a cutscene on the pipe. If it's even possible. If I'm bugged, I'm gonna be incredibly mad. That might be a little bit too crazy. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. As far as I know, they don't actually meet in the basement here, so inventory. I might just use some hints here in a second. Go to the other room, the soup kitchen room. Guys, there is no other rooms here. I mean, there's this one. I can't talk to this guy. I not talk. Emmett. I thought she was drunk and said to her, How long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wine. You know, I should mind his own business. I agree. Emmett. Yes? Hmm. Well, I tried distracting and then the pipe earlier, and uh, nothing happened. So, blah, blah, blah. Nice. Can't do anything with the phone. All it does is dial Emmett's, Emmett Brown's place. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. We have no idea how. What's the hint say? So, we suspect that the soup barrels on the baker's rack contain something stronger than soup. Yes. Yes, give me another hint. You can't get in the kitchen, but you can still cause the objects in it to be moved. Which we haven't yet figured out. I propped the door open. So somehow we need to get these to move. Which I'm almost positive deals with that door being opened. The guy coming through and knocking those barrels off. Cue bolt. No, don't talk to him. Maybe we need to somehow get these tables to kick that other table over, hit the rack, and then knock the barrels off. Yeah, I sent them to the Brown residence. I'm going to see if this has anything to do with it. Nope. Just prank calling the Browns. Okay. I hope that's pretty neat, Doc. Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But, At least those tables are propped up now. But I can't actually get to the Brown residence, so... It doesn't do me a whole lot of good, even though the bums are going to be there in a little bit. Got cue ball. Also bootleg. I'm gonna go speak to Edna again. Once more. Back and forth. Maybe I should have done a Sam and Max game. At least those give you some type of, like, clue as to what you're supposed to do with, hey, with good dialogue. Oh, hello, Mr. Say. Yes, um, need to know a charity. Yes, we've been to all of these places except the rest home. The rest home. Those dear old timers. Soup is one of the few pleasures they have left. And they don't even need teeth to enjoy it. I'm kind of unnerved about how he eyeballs those barrels. Okay. Could go to the courthouse. I haven't actually been back there in a while.
Okay, mechanical. The time for being vague is over with because I'm starting to get real frustrated with this. I can't get Emmett Brown to do anything. I can't get Cue Ball to do anything with the pipes. Can't get the guy at the table to do anything with the pipes. I don't have any items I can use on the pipes. Um. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Just give me all your hints. You can't get in the kitchen, yes. If the baker's rack were to tip the barrels of hooch, yeah, I've kind of figured that out, game. Trigger the lift to tip the baker's rack. What lift? There, okay, there is a lift on the floor right there. But... Hmm. Well, I've talked to Edna and she told me that she didn't need my help delivering. Um. So I've done that. The only thing I haven't seen is this guy hit the pipe. And there is a lift on the ground right there. So we've left while he's spicing up the soup. Talk to Edna one more time. Mr. Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. Trying to say. Blah, 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 blah. I know a charity. See, I can't. I've already, I've already offered to be a delivery guy for her. You asked me to somebody. The Asylum. The Stay Sober Society. Stay Sober Society. Bless you for thinking of them. But that meeting isn't scheduled to start for a little while. And we wouldn't want them eating cold soup. Well, it's just going to set in a barrel and get cold anyways, so I'm not sure it matters. I'm out of ideas. I tried sending to the Sober Society. You guys are a little bit behind me, I think. Probably about 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, at this point, I think I've missed a cutscene that was supposed to trigger. I've got the counter flap. Got the pipes I can't do anything with. I've tried hitting them whenever he's not spicing it up. I tried the phone not too long ago, and all we do is call the Brown residents, and then hang up. We don't talk to their butler or whoever that guy is. Looks like. Yeah, we know they go to the basement. Blah blah blah. Oh, dear lord, I'm starting to get put to sleep by this game now. About tired of seeing this cutscene. Emmett needs alcohol for the rocket drill, yes. There's a button. I don't see any buttons over here. Unless you're thinking that the phone's a button. Kitchen door, stack tables, barrels of soup. Now, as far as I can tell, I think my game is bugged. I mean, and... <laughs> I've tried just about every single combination right now that 
I possibly can. We've sent Edna everywhere to deliver soup. We've sent the homeless bums to the Brown residence for their, their meeting. I can't do anything with the pipe. I know that there's a lift back there, right there. But I have absolutely no way to trigger it. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of the, the culinary enhancements back there. It's kind of blocked off there, isn't it? Yeah, but what can you do? Well, I could do a lot of things. If I could just sneak back there. Now I'm doing a pixel hunt. I'm just scanning every single inch of the screen for anything that I might have missed. Hmm. Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Looks like these pipes go in. Well, guys, I'm about ready to call it. You've posted the information from the fact, from the walkthrough. We've used all the hints. Let me go ahead and go outside one more time. So what, I just need to stand around in there? Oh, I love advancing in games by doing nothing but idling. Okay, we're just gonna idle in here for a few minutes then. If you need to go to the bathroom, if you need to go get a drink, go ahead and do it. We're gonna stand here and look at cue ball for a few minutes. Because my time is not valuable at all, and neither is yours. Gotta stay out of sight, so I have to walk around the corner here. This is always great game design. Day of the Tentacle Soup right there. Just like Ma used to make it. I really wish we could get this guy to do something. God damn it, Telltale, this game has been out for f almost five years now. If this is a well known bug, patch it. Nothing makes me want to keep playing like bumping into a bug. Is this the type of bug where you actually have to restart the whole game? Do I have to restart the whole chapter? Reloading, huh? Turn the game, save and load. Load game, town square. Auto save. Marty enlists the aid of Doc's younger self to construct a rocket drill. Unfortunately, young Emmett Brown needs to deliver a subpoena, so we'd have to go all the way back to delivering a subpoena in order to have that happen. Which I'm fairly hesitant to do. I hate losing progress and having to backtrack and go through an entire chapter. I didn't think this was the type of game I would have to create saves for constantly. Yay! Bugs for everyone! Oh, there we go. We really do just have to stand around for like three or four minutes. <coughs> That's ridiculous. The game obviously expects you to become so bored and frustrated by not being able to figure out what to do that you're just going to stand around 
and scratch your balls for a little bit. Okay, at least that triggered finally. Great game design, Telltale. So while he's spicing that up, I was really about ready to quit and just go to bed for the night. The world's greatest adventure, standing around. <coughs> there we go. More soup? Please. And of course, cue ball's so dumb, he doesn't even realize what happened. Soup or no soup? He's not fooling anyone. Cue ball, I saw you checking her out. I up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully I never have to come back to this... this bug soup establishment. Now... Have you already ran off with it, Edna? Yeah, I'm holding right and I'm running down. I love that. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. How soon? Well, I know a charity that needs a soup you know, delivery. Tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Yes, the Stay Sober Society Stay does. Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Wait there! Harry! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, oh, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? We know that they're drunks and possibly transients, but they're also sober except for the barrel of 190 proof alcohol we're sending them. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a Pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. Um, well, isn't your dad working? Isn't he going to be working late, or are you the only one who has to work till 10? Um, yeah, they'll be quiet. They'll be quiet. We'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. Oh, dear. You that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. Nothing's impossible. Um, but come on, think... Thank, I promised Miss Strickland. Come I on. I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Okay, but think of the SSS. Think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Okay, well then forget the whole damn thing, Emmett. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. You don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. I'm, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. We're going to end up getting these two hooked up, and then Emmett is going to be the father of Vice I'm Principal not a Strickland. I'm feeling about this. Or Principal Strickland, whoever he is. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! So, you have a lab, but you still try to keep your sciencing secret from your father, huh? I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Well, time does wait for me. Because I got a time.
time machine. Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the wow. nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. That seems a bit complicated, Doc. Oh, so hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? God damn it, am I gonna have to do all of this? Is there gonna be a test on this? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? We fancy Moses. It's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Attend to the what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Uh, coming, father! Father! <sighs> you father me, child. <laughs> Crap. Pressuring so... Me to be something I'm not. Pretty much just do everything in order here, right? Run the crank. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. Release the gaseous pressure. Oh god. I'm totally gonna mess all this up. What did you do? Emmett, who are I thought you told me to do this in order. No one, Father. Um, stoke the fire. Dear God. I'm a skateboarder, Doc, not a scientist. Just pay attention to what I say. Emmett, I'm not true with you yet. You're not saying anything. You have a oh crap. Valve on your mouth oh wait. A release valve. Okay, I just need to shut up and listen to him. That's all I need to do, just shut up and listen to him. Okay. He wasn't emphasizing earlier, Master. <laughs> What kind of pressure I'm under. Pressure, holy crap. I don't remember where the pressure was. Was that the fire? Was it this? Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Just a quarter? Back here. I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, Father. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? I always hate being. Fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure. I always hate being caught in the middle of family drama. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. You're going to find out that when you get home. Ah, uh, halfway there. Emmett! Go get your ass chewed some more, Emmett. Law? What use is a microorganism for law? This seems like a highly inefficient way of getting nitrogen, by the way. Beating you in that school of yours. You look like a skeleton. Oh, a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start. Your mother and I are soaked at your behavior. Your His father's trying to throw me off, that bastard. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Maybe I can just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy, father? Why don't you ever... Don't worry, Doc. You'll get struck by lightning in about 30 years. 
20 years, actually. I like how it's picking up the pace, too. Just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years, I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Spins? It better be this. I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. You are pressuring me to be something I'm not. Why must you always scatter condescension my way? They call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start. Damn, you give it to him. Rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Can't you see this is eating me up in the Oh boy. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Woo. I was hoping we'd get to see Judge okay, Judge Brown. Ended. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... Oh God, mad scientist. Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Harry, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Um, one month to six weeks. Oh, it takes a while. About I'd say... I, I can't. Aww. Huh? Damn it, I, I'm not from the patent office. Damn it. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you. But I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I can't tell you who, but... I need to save him, tonight, and, and I need your invention to do it. Did the later episodes of this game get a lot better, like movie feel wise? I'll get back to you, I promise. And, damn it, you're gonna be a great inventor. Good job, Marty. You just crushed his dreams. <clears throat> Keep the throttle at about eight. At about eight? <laughs> uh, okay, Doc. I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. We don't even know if the doc is still in there. He didn't answer. Yeah, this will alert no one. Harry! Don't mind me just being a drill terrorist. Too late. The doc's not supposed to be. Moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Damn you, Edison! Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. And they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Hoverboard, Marty. Well, yeah, we can take Edna's bike, but. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Oh, yes. Let's put that on the bike, shall we? A rocket-powered, not a Huffy. I don't know what make it is, but whatever. It doesn't even have a banana seat.
Doc has a thing for those exhaust um, manifolds, doesn't he? It's even the same type that DeLorean has. You damn right they have been, Grimmeth. I have no idea what we changed that made it so he was assassinated en route. But okay. Like, honestly, what did we change that made it so he was killed en route? Shoom. 17 cents gas? Holy crap. Well, that was perfect. No, the basket! Okay, doors. See, I don't really have anything in my inventory for this, do I? Hmm. Let's examine the newspaper. Yeah, I, I didn't want to do that. Well, of course it's locked. Um. Oh, good. I actually can move. So, got the rear one. a spare tire. Crap. Okay, can't get around that way. I like how we've got this thing rocket boosted now. now what do we have down here? Okay, that's good. So maybe I need to go around the side, remove the tire, then go knock the driver out. Um, let's see, tire iron... What? Okay. Got a front window. What what did we pick up? A hubcap. Can I use that on the front window? Probably not. <gasps> no. What's he doing here? No joke. So we've got keys. If I use the hubcap here. Damn it. Hmm. Go back to the front window. Keys. Of course that's what I need to get. I've got an idea. I can't use anything on him. Um, maybe go all the way around the other side. I'm guessing I can't get inside there because... Anything I can interact with. Keys. The window shut tight. Yes, I need to bash out the window somehow, but I can't interact with it. Okay. Hmm. See, don't worry, Doc. I can't break the lock. I found the keys, but I can't reach them. A reach extender? Did you know kids drive in the truck? Okay, maybe there's something else in the toolbox here, too. Nope. Wait a second. An antenna. There we go. Not like they're gonna need that. So somehow I need to use the antenna to go through the window. Oh dear lord. This is just a nightmare. Um. <laughs> Damn it. Got to set up a distraction. Yeah, I know, a distraction somehow, but... Okay, what is the hubcap for here? I'm curious, I just want to see what else I can interact with. Go right, doors... Well, the problem is I can't actually... I don't think I can interact with the window at all. Maybe I can. 
so we're gonna throw the hubcap somewhere apparently question is where um, I don't think throwing the hubcap but that would do it do I have to wait for something to come along on the road okay hang on hang on Yeah, call your history teacher, Grimmett. Tell her to suck it. Okay, don't worry. I, I need a distraction, Doc. Okay, there we go. Go. Nice save, Doc. Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? <laughs> my sources. If this does not end with the police truck bumping into a uh, truck of manure, I'm going to be disappointed. Stand back, Doc. After this, Doc, they're going to call you the stretch. Oh, boy. Um, How you doing, Doc? Hey, holy you crap. Doing? Um, hang on. Probably need to use the hubcap here. There we go. Marty McFly, world-class oh, frisbee champion. Now, as much as I want to shoot Kid and kill him, that would have far-reaching repercussions for the timeline. So, they've actually got Doc shackled up. Shoot those. This is a rush kill. Uh, that's the idea. Really? Um, let's see. Hit the throttle. Did we just pull an E.T.? There we go. That's exactly what I was waiting for. And yes, we did just pull an E.T. Doc, are you okay? I'm fine. Doc has a broken back. We now have to go to the future. And get some stem cell technology to heal him. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where's your leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! Oh boy. To be continued on the next episode of Back to the Future. So Marty McFly is fading out of time, huh? What's happening? I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tan will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Park. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Get Tannen, February 2010. 
Yeah, I liked the game except for that stupid waiting. I like being able to just figure things out and go through it pretty quickly. Having to stand around with no clue whatsoever that you're just supposed to stand there and wait for it to trigger. Probably one of the most fun things I've had to do in an entire stream so far. So yeah, not bad. Captured the feel of the movie decently well. Not, not, not too upset with the purchase. I think I got all five of them for like seven dollars on the sale. No, Grimmeth will have to travel back to the future to get that episode. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, guys, let's see what time is it. It is three o'clock. Um. Some of you are probably going to go to bed. I'm going to take a break for a little bit, get myself something to eat. Uh, I don't have a headache anymore, so probably in, I would reckon, 30 minutes or so we're going to come back. And I'm going to load up and start the next episode of this game. Um, I don't know how long I'll stream tonight total. But, I don't know, I've got the next two days off after today. I don't go back until Saturday night, so... Christmas night, which is tonight. I'll be streaming around the same time. Otherwise, I'll be in chat, popping in and out uh, for the next 30 minutes while I cook some